Hey guys! Does the sun ever rise here? Uh, yes it does, it's just that it's very late at night here, and... Uh, how should I put this? What have you been doing all day? For the past couple of days, let me just show you the memory card. This is where we saved last time. Here's where we are now. I did 12 hours of off-screen grinding. Oh my gosh! So, in order of shit that has happened... <laughs> First, okay. First so, off, uh, first up, guys, yeah. you're in for. A, you're, we're going to be here a while. No, we won't. Trust me, it's not yes. going to be as bad as that time we tried to do upgrading on screen. By the way, we're never doing that again. That took 11 minutes out of the video. Eh, it was fun. Anyway, first off, Max has got a new pair of shoes, the dragon shoes. They what do they do? Uh, nothing. They're just accessories. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I also got a frozen tuna which can be evolved into the Big Bucks Hammer. I'm just going to sell this off. I just wanted to show it to you because this is goddamn retarded. <laughs> that's monster levels. That's, not, that's monster hunter levels of shenanigans right there. Anyway, as you can tell, I built up the Stinger Wrench to the Poison Wrench. Poison Wrench plus one. And there is a new upgrade requirement. Besides the Lightning, Cyclone, and Scale, we, we also need... To kill these monsters. Note! You don't have to kill them with the weapon. You just need to kill them once with any character. Which means you're going to be a you're going to have to wait until you can run into those enemies. Yep. So, but it's going to be pretty easy once we get there. In short, but I will say this, these monsters don't appear until like chapter 5 and 6. Ouch. So, the poison wrench plus 1 is going to be our default weapon from here yeah, on out. and as you can see, it has the poison ability, it has the bandit ability, and it has the absorption ability, which means every time you whack something with a monster, you have a chance to recover a few points of HP. And the poison speaks for itself. It does additional damage while you're attacking. Yep. All in all, this looks like a very cool vampire-type weapon. Yep. Uh, the Jurek gun has now been evolved into the Question Shooter. The Question Shooter looks very, very elemental-based, and... Looks like it'll do some massive lightning. Yep. Heat Fairy and Rifle Wolf. Rifle Wolf is the only one I know that appears in Chapter 5. Everything else is Chapter 6. Okay. Yep. So, we got plenty of time to build these up. All and right. here's the Wildcat. Now, this was... A <laughs> <laughs> this was the Trumpet Shooter? This was the Bell Trigger. And then it got evolved into the Starbreaker. And then I evolved it into this. The Wildcat Plus Four, a cursed machine gun that brings out the beast and its user. It's got indestructible and it's got critical hit. Indestructible being? Basically meaning that its durability will last a lot longer, and since this is a fucking Gatling gun... It needs it. Yes. It also has the ability to crit a lot, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you're going to bet your ass that I am going to be using this weapon a lot. Yep, and to build it up, this one doesn't need a requirement, it just needs a lot of points and everything. And I'll look that up later on. But okay. we're good for that. And now for Miss Monica. Well, her weapon before has now become the Chura. Chura. A short sword with a beautifully patterned blade. Kinda looks like it's made of topaz or tiger's eye or something. It is a very cool looking weapon. This, I have a special plan for this weapon. I'll get back to you guys on that later. But suffice it to say, we still need a bit of lightning and a bit of physical attack, but no enemy requirements yet. Nope. And also, her thorn armlet got evolved into the Pockle Call. And then once again, into the Spirit Bazaar. Yep. And this thing also has critical on it. Oh my goodness. The guns have high crits, and so does the magic. Eee, boy. <laughs> And oh, this one remains able to level up very quickly. Yep. And, of course, this requires the Sylph and the Fat Naga. Mm -hmm. More enemy requirements and a lot more lightning, if I'm not mistaken. Now, to also note, I got I made this lure rod. I'm probably not going to use it, but I made it just to show you. Okay, is there a difference between the two rods? Uh, this one can take a lure. This one is just equipped with a bait, so I think this is a one that doesn't require any bait. That's cool. Is that and effectively makes all that inventory space that we use for our bait worthless. Yep. Yay! I also... You can sell it now for mm -hmm. profit. I also upgraded the core 3 to the super core for Steve. This is not the final core. And I also got him... <laughs> what are those? The 
the missile pod arms. <laughs> Fires missiles. Fire the missiles. The problem with this thing is, is that it drains durability like a motherfucker. But it's got at least 40 more attack than the other two weapons that we have. So this is our most powerful weapon, but it's also our most fragile. Fragile and, uh, uh what's the word? It, the opposite of pragmatic. I would say impractical? Possibly. There we go. It's also very hard to aim with it, too. Yeah, but I guess the general idea of using this is point at crowd, eliminate crowd. Yep. <laughs> I'll also mention uh, there's a, I've gotten a whole bunch of extra elements, I've gotten some more coins, and I've gotten a lot of material, and, um, I, and I got a lot of Gilda as well. Yeah, that's a crap ton of Gilda, though I will note you're missing a... You're, you do have a deficit on one of those uh, gems you've mentioned before. Yeah, the, a, lot, a lot of the beast crystal, hunter crystals are gone, because a lot of the weapons require beasts. So, yeah. Alright, so, is this enough material to get us through the rest of the game? At least until... Ch no. No. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, you probably would need max on all of these to at least make a dent through the rest of the game. Holy crap. So, that money, this material, not enough. So you can count on more grinding in future. Yep, and now one last thing. We're going to balance the Starlight Canyon now. Oh, hang on. Was there some, uh, is there something that happened before? Uh, technically, what do you Yeah, do? you did some stuff elsewhere from what I remember you telling me. Yeah, um, after here, we were about to go here and here, and as you can see... I'm not even talking about Starlight Canyon. Oh? Oh yeah, I did some other stuff. Yeah, you did. Let me just go to Sindane really quickly. <laughs> See, this is why I'm saying you need to start writing this down. Alright, well basically, I was bored out of my gourd. And so I decided to spruce up the place a little bit. Oh? I basically did it until we had 100 culture points. And you have 395 pollen remaining. Yep. So I put a shed here, some torches, some pots. A water wheel. Oh my god. I put a blue roof, a weather vane on this. I put warehouses on these as well. I put a brick house in the firm at Fabio who sells bait is right here because he likes to be near the water, so I thought this was perfect. Oh my gosh. And now, yeah, Polly's Bakery has a blue roof. The weapon shop has a yellow roof, so I can actually tell the difference between them. Mind if I do a little bit of uh, editing here too? Uh, I'm not going to mess up with any of the buildings. I just want to move the trees around a little bit. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and clean them up. Tell me which trees you want gone. Um, all the perimeter trees. These perimeter trees? Mm-hmm. All right, then I'll remove those. Let's leave that one there. And this one, can I remove this one too? Or? Uh, let's leave the ones that are close to the town alone. Okay, we uh, do It's just those ones on the left that are kind of uh, bugging you a little bit. All right, so you have three trees to place. Okay, mind if I do. All right. Legend control here. Uh, I've noticed that you've got quite a bit of uh, quiet space around here. Huh? I thought, you know, it might just be a little bit nice to... Fill it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And one more back here. That right. way it looks like the... The force is kind of encroaching in. Well, not necessarily encroaching. More like the town and the forest are together. All right. If I made more trees, we may put one there. Oop, we got to put it back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Triangle to go to the menu. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can make more trees if you want. I could, but I don't know. I think we could use a little grass. <laughs> That's junk. Those are junk parts. I don't know. Uh, like, I do find like uh, some of this to be kind of cool too. Like you can lay it on the side and add to the whole ambience. Oh, you can actually break it. This is no. That's what it's for. You break it to make building material. Ah, I didn't know you could do this. Uh, other materials? Yeah, you can break other materials, too. I don't want to break our iron mat or anything sort, but... Yeah, you can break uh, some of these rocks, and you can get... Some of the materials re have, have returned, so you would get, like, the rough rocks. Building oh, material. Okay. Cool. Still want to put one log, though. Alright, I'll let you place one log. <laughs> like, uh... That works. Right around here. Place it, triangle. Okay. I don't want to add more uh, after this point. I yeah, guess... well, so go to the triangle. Okay. And then just exit out. 
and select button. Okay. There we go. All right. So we got a little bit of a course here. Yep. I hope I didn't mess up your perfect village. No, the Georon is still at 100%, otherwise it would have said there was a change. Uh, so now with that done, we should probably head to balance that. <laughs> this. Thank you everyone for letting me waste your time. <laughs> so as I was trying to say, I actually did go through two levels, two dungeon floors off camera. The reason why is because I wanted to save a little time because this area is going to be important for later. But I will go ahead and mention this. This place is full of mimics. Oh, gosh. This place is full of those elemental dragon things that keep flying around. That's the, all the enemy is. This place is a great area to grind for gems and stones and whatever you need. All right. I will also mention that it was also a blue seal. So it was... It was a... Uh, max exclusive. Max exclusive. I will mention okay. that I didn't realize this until now, but once you break a seal, it's broken for good. So those missions I mentioned before where it wanted you to go and... Where Monica was banned, but you had to beat it with Monica, you can go back to that floor and, and the seal will be broken. And then you can do it with less bullshit. Yes. Okay. So with that done... I also went through the moon pass so we could go here so you wouldn't have to see us having to go through this floor again. Because okay. I'd rather us show new floors, and yeah. Okay, I would like to note that many of our uh, viewers have uh, posted in the comments when we asked the question, and a lot of them do want to see us fast forwarding through these things. Some of them do, some of us want to, they want us to at least show it to them, they don't want us to just skip. All so, right. I'm thinking maybe every other episode will fast forward. What say to you to that? It's just the word of our viewers, and whatever works for you. Alright. Because I, I realize this is a, oh, a lot of hard work. White seal, no healing, ride pod only. Ride pod for the win. Yep. So, you want to show off those missile pods? Well, they're equipped, so might as well. Go for it. Alrighty. Awesome, but impractical, here we go. White seal? You can't restore health or status, so use a weapon that has neither health nor status. Ooh, the Geostone is right here. Wow. That didn't take long. Hey, gimme. Alright. <laughs> Okay. I also mentioned there were a few scoops that we missed. One wow. was one was actually the uh, a picture from the Titan. Uh, when he raises his arms up to do that, when he does that, that that slam attack, uh, that's when you take the photo. Okay, and you already got it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Did you see how much uh, durability that took out? This <laughs> question. I have a question. Does the missile pod uh does it share the same durability across all the different weapons? No, it doesn't. So you could choose to switch between weapons and just fire all the missiles, or switch over to uh, your arms. Yep, as you will. Uh, didn't these guys also have their own? Uh... Oh yes, they do. You're supposed to take a photo of them peeking through the mask. Let me see if I can just... Derp! Derp! Made it. Uh, ow. Yep. But it doesn't look like they hit that hard. Ah, close. At least you're bottlenecking these jugheads. Yeah, it's... Damn it! You might want to break. Yep. Thankfully, Max can take it. Yeah, uh, the problem is it's a complete load of wank. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I looked through the Jurak Mall. <laughs> and, Jurak Mall. And there were a few new treasure chests. This is because we did some stuff in Balance Valley, and so we got some new stuff, so... Uh, one fruit of Eden, I say we give it to Max. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Because he needs the camera. Okay. Another 
for Max, and one for Monica. Now she's at 20, he's at 24, and I'll just go ahead and use cheese. Thank you. You can't heal. Fuck it! <laughs> it's a white seal! Wait, is that going through the- It's going behind him. <laughs> Suck it, fucker! <laughs> Okay, awesome, and slightly practical. But, unable to heal, any, well, you won't be able to heal, but we have multiple weapons to abuse now. Yep, and this is repairable. So you can still repair your weapons. Yep, alright, so with that taken care of, I'll go back to Max, at least until the enemy appears. Mimic, why you do this to me? Let's see what this does to it. Ow. It it hit the wall. It hit the wall. You might want to switch over to the barrel cannons. Yeah. There you go. More consistent. Well, it's more direct. If you want just like... <laughs> just blast the pieces out of everything, you'll want the, mess the Macross Missile Massacre. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you don't, then if you want a real direct, precise hit, then you'll want something like this. Yep. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. Hey, that's great, man. I had lunch not too long ago. I apologize to all of you, But, uh, uh yeah. yeah. Ugh. I've, I've started lovely. to learn how to go faster through these, but because I've been faffing about, I kind of derped. Like, is there a trick to getting through Battle Spell quickly? Uh, basically... To get the map and the magic crystal early, for one. <laughs> for others, it's to actually just keep backtracking along the paths to... Because it basically follows a canyon path. I gotcha. Hey, isn't that a... That's a mimic. Mimic. Too many mimics. Well, at least they're not all that bad. By the way, these golems and... Derp! Circle buttons are not long. I know. These tend to do better with the, uh... So, beat them the way you beat them before. Yeah. Okay. Beat them old school. Uh, that's a spring. Yeah. Can it's... you heal? I think so, but... Because Max could use a heal. I mean, he can't use restorative items, but maybe he can heal, even despite the, uh... Bull crap? Mm-hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so if we can find another one of those tribesmen, I'll try another attempt. Alright, good luck. But, we still need to kill everything with the ride pod. Uh, yep. Boom. Boom. Punch an elephant in the butt with a robot. Oh, lord. This game has some amazing... By the way, these elements drop something called Evi, which is basically a shrimp for fishing. So, I, I gotta ask this. Why the fuck is an elephant dropping shrimp? Someone please answer me that. Well... Hell have I know. <laughs> yeah. By the way, even with the roller skates, it's still too goddamn slow. Well, it is slightly faster. Yeah, oh, I should at least show how fast to get thing is, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. Eee. Yep. Well, we'll see a better image once we actually are allowed to attack enemies with it, but... Oh, it's gonna be fun. Boom, boom, okay, boom. and I'd also like to point out, you cannot get the photo op from these particular elements, right? Right. It's only for darling little Linda. Yeah. It sucks. Okay, not a mimic. Are you a mimic? Not, not a mimic. A mimic. Armband repair powder, which we had plenty of. Mm -hmm. Now, I do oh, want to say, fuck. Yeah, more backtracking. As for backtracking, one thing that I would probably criticize uh, Dark Cloud Two for, yeah, the overpoweredness of the right pod. Well, let me just say this. It does not stay overpowered for long. Really? La the last dungeon 
enemies are going down in multiple hits. But it still takes the riot pod to beat them. Yeah. Because they are base they're an enemy is basically called Arthur. It looks like a robotic knight. Then that fires a whole bunch of missiles and crap like that. So it's a pain in the arse. My god, it's a cluster of mimics. I wonder if there's an actual term for a group of mimics. You know, like a murder of crows, uh, a <laughs> gaggle of geese. What would you call uh, a large amount of mimics in one area? I think I just said it right there. A cluster. A cluster? Mm -hmm. The mimic cluster. I know there's like D&D &D terms for some of this shit. Uh, I should note that there is more, uh, explorable area. I know, but I'm kind of following the path of the enemies. Okay, okay. Fair enough. You're not gonna grab this one's photo? I'll get it off camera. <laughs> it's not <laughs> You worth decided it. off camera. Okay. Yeah. Just know that we did get this one. There's also another one I forgot to mention where you gotta take a picture of the dog, the, the rock dog thing as it's charging at you. Okay. And... There's another one I mentioned where the ram is dashing at you. Again, another one where it's charging at you. Uh, I'm actually looking for the, the, the scoops right now. Watch out for that elephant. I see it. Boop, boop, boop. Boop an elephant on the scoop. Do you have the meat? Or did we already get the meat? I have no idea. We got the meat. Yay! Just need to kill this one last enemy and then we can get our medal. You shall not proceed. Wow. <laughs> really, dude? Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's it. I've mentioned them all. I mentioned the giant, uh, the giant photo. I mentioned the rock dog photo. I mentioned the ram, and I mentioned the devil mask. Now we move on <laughs> to get off the right pod. Alrighty, so meat, meat, meat. The condor is looking this way. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, um, it's about. Well, we kind of spent a lot of time talking about uh, stuff. It's already at uh, two, uh, 20 minutes. You want to stop right here? I think we can do one more. I think we can do one more. Alright. Smiling Fairy Village. Fuck that subquest. With the monster transformation? Yeah, we ain't mm -hmm. ever getting these medals. I'll do some research off uh, on my own yep. uh, using Monica's monster transformation to see how if there's any merit to using it and if there's any good monster transformations. I will let you know. Uh huh. For but now, for now, Legends in Control for this one. Let's see if we can get through a lickety split. I cannot no guarantee promise. that. No promises. I will not guarantee that. My muscle memory has betrayed me before. This is a nice little thing, little area. Mm -hmm. By the way, after we passed that that area, that uh, split path, um, we've actually gotten lower to the ground, and we can actually see the river, the stream underneath. A lot, it's a lot closer. Ah, uh, that is beautiful. Yep, I love the water. All right, so you're showing off Monica first, huh? Yep. Uh. Again, Monica. Doesn't... Oh, another bullshit thing I noticed about uh, the monster transformation. If it dies, so does Monica. Really? So you can't let's switch between the two? Nope. Ugh. So another. More bullshit. Yep. Oh, goody, the map. All right. Um... So there's a mystery thing right here. And the dew stone. Oh wait, do we have Karim with us? I oh. think we do. We'll find out. Either way. Either way. Did our shadow just lengthen? Maybe. Ooh, experience bonus. Alright. Okay, so... Thunder Garmin. Oh! Another thing. Because the Chura leveled up, you see those little notches right there on the side of your sword? Yeah. When you guard an, an elemental magic attack, those light up. Ah, okay. Is and, that the magic counter you were talking about before? Yeah. You hold... Uh, you hold R1, and then you use L1 at the uh, after you've charged up a bunch to fling it back. Okay. I'll keep that in mind uh, when we're fighting those enemies. Uh-huh. Because I like to show that off. Uh, I got nine poison. Uh, I looked those up. It's only used to make the poison wrench from the make list. 
Really? So you didn't have to upgrade to the poison wrench, you could have just made it? Problem, yeah, but the thing is it wouldn't have had as good a stat. Okay, I really don't want to engage too many enemies all at once. Good god! That's an uncharged attack! That was a crit. Alright, there's one, there's two, there's three. Oh, and. See that? Yeah. Thing is, you know, there's a bunch of dudes there. Yeah, and they're firing three, so just use Monica's magic. By the way, if another element, different type of element, hits, it uh, it's it resets to one with the new element. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bread just so that Monica doesn't die. Down. Okay. I got bread, cheese. There we go. And I even bought premium chicken. Uh, why don't we go? Use your words. Back. Follow the map. So okay. Fill in so all... fill in the map. Go back. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think we have the meat yet. No meats. Fetties! Very good parents! These are actually wow. the, uh, so I never showed what the Pockle Call looked like. It's basically a, a green armband with these guys' ugly mugs. Alright, there we go. That's a sword kill. Mm -hmm. Alright. So why don't you show off Max a little bit? You've already shown off a lot of Max. Alright. Take care of you. I'll just go ahead and finish you off in one hit. Yeah. Good God! You can thank me for that grinding. I thank you for all that grinding. Okay. Gotta get all the enemies. Honestly, I'd rather just guard these guys. And... Yeah, I will tell you, they're very annoying. Yeah. May Why melee a flying enemy? Me. Nothing else. Back, and we shall continue on. Forward up along the river, I should go. What the hell is that even from? Yeah, it's nothing I made up. Of course. Alright, so, is there an enemy down here? Will pop up? Nope. So, back. Nope. And across the bridge. Yeah! Systematic approach. Yep, you can see, you can kind of see the method I kind of go. If I go along until I reach a dead end, and then... If I reach another bridge, I kind of cross it to just kind of fill in the missing parts. Yeah, they still do a lot of damage. Yeah. Wind Gearman, you kind of want to use your sword for them because your main element is wind. Yeah, I know. I'll just go ahead and go. And Man, let's, just, yeah. let's just go ahead and go along this entire path. Alright. Am I mumbling too much? No, I think you're fine. Oh, All good. Right. Alrighty, now we can see what the hell everything else is. Alright. Just gonna. Just gonna. Bitch smacking with the wind. <laughs> Getsura Techo. No, it's not that good yet. Oh, you can actually get Uh no, I kinda wish you could though. <laughs> I think that that magic uh, reflect is the closest thing we have to a Getsuga. <laughs> well, we got the meat. Alright, so smack him. One shotting area. Oh man. Another reason why I did this is because, uh, since you refuse to, uh, learn how to, uh, play the game, except for when we record... You want to give me the overpower stuff so I'm less likely to die. Less likely to die, less likely to dirt. So, we're not going to be able to, uh... I wonder if we can get the clear time fast, done fast enough, so try to kill the, the rest of the enemies. Alright. Because if you can't kill everything fast enough, you actually do get a medal. That is one of the requirements for a dungeon floor. Okay. And depending on the dungeon, there's always a fishing requirement, or there's, well, let me quit. Later. Much later. God almighty, I hate that requirement. Looks like we got them all. <laughs> Catch a fish this, this big. Hey! We did get it. Well, you do kind of have the most overpowered weapons imaginable, so... Heal up, and let's head to the exit. Alright. Oof, there's that little walking glitch again. Yeah, again, it's because this is a freaking port. I don't think I've ever seen that problem in the original Dark Cloud 2. 
So, excuse me. So, yeah. Why must we play broken games? Because reasons. I don't like those reasons. Alright, we'll see you to the next floor, yeah. and in the next episode, we'll actually do a little bit of Giorama. A little bit of Giorama? Alrighty then. I can't wait. <laughs> Later, guys. Get to build the thing again!